Hey boys, welcome back to some more Krieger 22 My Player Cree mode. And as you can see, we're going to be making our debut in the Sheffield Shield, Queensland v Victoria. And uh, yeah, of course, we're playing for the for the Queensland Bulls. So let's uh, let's get straight into the action. I'm excited. I'm excited. It's been uh, it's been a while since we played some. I mean, some Krieger 22 in general. As we look at the team, it's a it's a good. It's a good couple of teams. I think our, our side is is pretty stacked. We got Kawaja, we got Lava Shane. Where are we well we like number four, number five, I think we were. So good to be good to be fairly high up the order in this Bulls lineup, which is good to see. Um but yeah, I was gonna say it's been ages since we played Cricket twenty two. Obviously we we've done a few videos already, but just in general, it's been a while and uh, it's been even longer since we've actually played some some higher level cricket because yeah obviously we've been slogging it out in a bit of club cricket I only upload what have we done like three videos on the on the club stuff i played a, i played a few more games and then pretty much just simulated till we got selected got the call up as uh bryce street and joey burns off to a a pretty solid start unfortunately lava shane and kawaja have departed cheaply that is um that's quite unusual. That's quite unusual indeed for both those guys to to, to get out. And, uh, and the hero here, Scotty Boland, has not picked up the wicket. I, I thought maybe he would have got a couple of couple of cheeky scalps, but he is uh, he is. Uh, I mean, he's coming into the uh, the test match, the the second test against the the West Indies. That's well, I'm I'm making this video after the first day where Labuschagne once again has scored another ton. Kawaja scoring nicely. Travis Head. I've got to be honest. Like I, I'm going to go on like a little bit of a uh, off topic here, but that that was a beautiful ball, actually. Beautiful ball. Good leave. Thankfully, we didn't play at it. Honestly, that was that was a, <laughs> that's a perfect delivery. Just good length. Slight bit of swing away. That's a ball you can easily nick off to. And uh, he's cranking it up here, old uh, old Scotty Boland. Um, not his action. Um, he's got more of that sort of shuffle into the crease i don't know what what, is, what action is he bowling with here yep. i have no idea I, I don't know which one that is i think they did like the last since the last time i played this game i think they have added a couple of new bowling actions i i think um as we finally get off the mark there i don't know what, what's going on here <laughs> are, the, are the fielders having a bit of a chat <laughs> i don't know <laughs> we're looking a bit bemused we got we got the two runs I, i'm not uh, i'm not complaining but i don't know what our, <laughs> i don't know what our dude was doing um he was he was in all sorts as uh we've just we didn't even leave it really we we i mean we literally left it <laughs> we didn't even play a leave it was uh Honestly, I didn't know what to do. I, I was in two minds as that one is uh, hit nicely, well fielded with the left mitt there. Um, but what was I going to say? What was I talking about? Oh, Travis Head. I was I was going to go on a, a bit of a tangent about Travis Head um, as Perry here bowls it short and wide. Bit of a risky shot. We didn't quite get the the timing on it, but I, I tried to play it up and over, which we did. Um, and any sort of bat on that should go over the top. It only just, <laughs> it only just. We did, it was it was a lot slower than I than I expected from uh, from Perry here. That's a bit of a rank ball. So we you know we're we're gonna take a bit of aggression into our into our longer formats. We're not gonna play reckless, but we we are an aggressive type batsman. So anything loose, we we like to we like to make the most of it as uh that leads into Travis head nicely. <laughs> I, I, I honestly I'll be the first to admit I really didn't rate Travis Head very much at all. I mean the shorter format, yes, like the Big Bash and and, and previous stints in that competition, he he played some very good innings. Um, but for for Test matches, I was I was struck by the fact he was getting selected in the Australian Test side, and when he first came in, um, you know. He didn't really impress me a lot, <laughs> but I I mean he he's come he's come on leaps and bounds. It's got to be said. Now, granted, like he, the scores he's made, you could argue that it's been fairly good batting conditions. I would say over in Australia as of late, um, 
and obviously previously like against England and, and whatnot. But I mean, he he's just playing like. Uh, Got to say, I love watching him bat now. That's a, again a bit of a risky shot, but we we've all greens, great timing. Apparently the the ideal shot, and we just sort of run run it off the face there. Will Sutherland has picked up uh, the two wickets. Well, there's a third wicket has fallen, but uh, he's got the two. Uh, that's a it's a good drive. Bit over pitch that time. Over over correcting too much. Not quite the timing on it. It's only going to be a a couple, but yeah, he's uh, he's great to watch. I mean, he's coming out and and just. And not plodding along, he's he's just not, he's getting on with it. I mean, his his runs are coming really quickly, and they're they're coming fairly consistently. So I, I can't I can't hate on Travis Head anymore. It's gonna be interesting to see, like over his career, like he's definitely one of those guys that he's gonna go in some pretty rough patches for sure. Just just the way he plays, like he gets some some loose ones wide, and he has a slash and. Um, he plays his shot, so he's gonna he's gonna run into trouble for sure. Like he's gonna go through stints where he, he gets some <laughs> some low scores, some ducks and and whatnot. But at the moment, he's he's riding on a, a, a nice little purple patch, and it, it's great to see. And I you know gotta eat my words a little bit. I, I've been very impressed with Travis Head, um, as that is mighty impressive as well. It's gonna not quite. No, the field has done a. A fantastic job, and we're not going to get the four. It was pretty sloppy running, in fact, by uh, Bryce Street. But uh, moving on to 21 off 26, Street is 59 off 104. That is markably quicker than what he usually does, <laughs> as that is uh well, that's a glorious shot. Is that gonna that's gonna beat the man to the boundary? What a what a what a beautiful time shot! Look at this, bang! Straight off the back foot, just punching it through that mid wicket region. Yes, yeah, by Bryce Street, if he was on 50. Probably like 150 odd balls he would have faced. <laughs> he's not. Uh, he's definitely not the quickest batter of all time. But you know, he's one of those old-fashioned just dig-in type openers, which is which is good to see. Is that's uh, over pitched by by Jimmy Panson steaming in, and we've taken full full advantage. We got our confidence up, and as soon as we saw it up in the slot, I just felt I just felt the urge to go up and over the up and over the bowler shouldn't it shouldn't be anyone back there so if we got any sort of bat on it it would have been safe oh that's that's quick <laughs> it's quick and we've we've completely missed uh misplayed that one so yeah you know rain it in rain it in we're 30 off 37 there's no there's no rush in this one we're, we're going along at a very quick rate that's it's a good another good ball another good ball i, I was anticipating someone saying a little bit closer to the stumps and it just beat me on the outside edge once again but that that one, nice. Just waiting for it, pushing it through that cover region, not needing to overhit it with the pace of puns and just getting any sort of timing on that. It's just going to race away on this outfield, and we're looking, uh, we're looking mighty good as that one is uh, played to backwards square, not quite past the field, but we're going to push for a pretty easy double, pushing us into the uh, into the mid 30s now. So yeah, 30, 36 or 42, very very sound first innings on debut we'd love to i mean getting a big score would be beautiful um but let's let's just knock off the let's knock off the first milestone a 50 on debut would be that'd be perfect that, that would be sensational getting a getting a nice little 50 setting the total up for the boys that's uh that's a high bumper we've we've done a good job actually somehow the so the field has missed it i, I thought i was just going to be uh a, a quick little single, but it's almost going to go to the boundary. We're going to scamper back for for a four. <laughs> I do like honestly the fielding is improved. Like that, I mean the fielder missed it, but that's more realistic. Like he's gone for the big dive, he's gone over the top of it, and you're you're able to get a few runs. Like previously, yep. if um if the fielder dove for it, like they would literally just they would get it every time, right? But uh, they they made the fielding definitely better like it's i don't know i feel like the fielding in cricket games it's it's always going to be tough it's always going to be one of those ones that it, it's going to be impossible to get right what has happened there we're gonna take we're gonna take four what is that it's a big french cut um big full out swinger it actually um oh no it came in a little bit and just the just the really thick inside edge it's gone away for for a nice easy four pushing us into 44 now very close to the very close to the 50 bryce street is 67 you know plodding along to his uh to his ton which would be nice um 
Beard is setting up. Oh, that could be it. That could be it. We've we've timed that superbly. That's gonna race away for for a boundary. Oh no, it's not. It's not quite it. That push us as, uh, pushes us to uh to 49, I think. So that was uh just a it's just a great shot. What could, what can be said about that? Johnny Holland. He's got a it's Johnny Holland. He's not around still. <laughs> Surely not. He, how old would he be? He he must have retired years ago. Surely, <laughs> John Holland. I feel like he's been around for a long time. Oh, this is what... Okay, so... <laughs> that's right. Um, the game sort of the game sort of glitched out right here for uh, for a little moment. Um, I think it was off the bat. Um, but, uh, but as you will see, we're now in the field. So, annoyingly, rather annoyingly, um, the game glitched out. So I, I ended up exiting the game, saved exit, whatever, and I booted it back up, but I forgot to fucking record. <laughs> we got out 50. We got 50, but we got out literally straight after Johnny Holland just uh, just got one full and straight and, and, and hit us plumb in front. So uh, annoyingly, we didn't get the 50 on camera. The, the fucking game glitched out. So yeah, I, I exited, uh, I stopped the recording, and then I, I forgot to restart it. So thankfully we didn't go on to like to get a big one i probably uh i don't know i probably honestly i probably wouldn't have noticed because i thought it was recording the whole time so uh you know silver lining thankfully i guess we didn't go on to get a big one we we would have missed basically all of that but uh yeah we did get our a maiden 50 in our in our debut sheffield shield game so setting us up nicely uh, but Victoria, they're, they're going okay. Four for one forty-five. Matt Short, Sam Harper, a couple of the, couple of the young guns in this uh, in this Vic team. Um, we come back into the fray here. A six over. That's, you know, perfect time to come back in. Hit with uh, a powerful sweep shot by by Matty Short to, to push him into into a fifty. Fifty-one off one hundred fifteen. I don't really know how Matt Short has gone in like the longer format. Obviously, in like T twenties and stuff, he, he's starting to find his find his feet a little bit. Um, doing some good stuff. I don't, I don't know if that's really transitioned to, to the longer format. Honestly, I, I I always find it hard to sort of keep up with the the Sheffield Shield. Um, stuff unless i like actually look up a player to see to see how they're going but um but yeah the vicks are actually going okay here we didn't score as many as i i thought we did they're they're pretty close to our our first innings total we must only got like two what do we get like 260 270 well that's a i thought he had a little sneaky under edge but not to be um into our uh, eighth over now none for 25 as that oh that's gotta be out that's gotta be out maddie sure doesn't like it but the fingers going up and he, he didn't like it because it was plum he didn't like it now that was uh that was just a nice ball the the previous ball we had a little bit more flight a bit wider outside off this one just darted and just slightly quicker a bit a bit straighter and it just just pitches basically on middle holds its line and that's, I mean, the only thing is the height. I, I, I actually thought, <laughs> I, I thought maybe it was going over the top, but he, he's given it out, so I'll, I'll, I'll take it. Must have been, I'd say, clipping the top. So we will, we will take our first wicket to go along with our first fifty. This has been a, a very, a very productive first, uh, first innings with bat and now ball. Hopefully we can finish off the tail here. Matt Perry, Will Sutherland, and uh, and try to get back in with the bat and 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 put some put some decent runs on the board to, to try and set this game up. It's it's going to be a tight one, honestly. It's going to be a tight uh, a tight thing because uh, yeah, they're they're close to our first innings total for sure. And uh, this little partnership and the partnership before um, just a little bit frustrating, you know. Tail enders. Just hanging in for a few balls, getting a, a few sneaky runs. It's, it's always frustrating. That's why you love a, that's why you love a bowler like Stark just to clean up the tail. I think you can't. I think it's under it's underlooked or overlooked a fair bit in cricket. The 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 tail ender just destroyer. Like people will act like oh he only gets tail enders, but the tail putting on like fifty to hundred runs is is massive for like a total. But having having a guy that can just sear in some Yorkers or some short stuff, 
it's uh it's nice but uh yeah that we're we're gonna clean them up and uh we're gonna come back out with the bat in uh in the next video looking to set this game up for for a potential victory hopefully you guys are enjoying the series make sure to like and comment and i'll see you in the next one